day 140. Still at the hotel. Totally glad I stayed here last night. So worth it. It came down like a mofo last night. It was scary bad. There's gonna be some damage. The trail's gonna be slop and nasty, but you know, at least I wasn't in it. Um, did my laundry. That's pretty nice. Showered, but I left the sock out. I found it on the floor, so like I have one crusty sock. But yeah, I'll get that one muddy and nasty today, and I won't even notice because it's gonna get muddy and nasty today. Only got one video uploaded to YouTube. Tried all night long. It seems like I get the worst sleep when I sleep in a place like this because I'm up on like pushing buttons and pushing buttons and being told that I fail over and over. But the Wi-Fi here just sucks. It says full bars, but I can't even watch a video, much less upload one. Is what it is. We'll try in the next place. A little more than a two-mile road walk back to the trail. We keep trying to hitch. There's people coming down the way, but nobody wants to stop for us. Two guys, all bearded out, backpacks on. They have to be homeless, right? But yeah, I think they know about the AT. It runs right through their freaking town. But still, nobody's stopping to pick us up. If only you had a vagina root beer. But damn you for being born without one of those. We'd already be there if you had one. We have arrived back at the AT. We did not get a ride. Somebody stopped and talked to us, but you know, nobody gave us a ride. So yeah, we already have two miles in. Uh, I think I'm only gonna do a 14 mile day today cause really it's gonna be sloppy, it's wet. There's supposed to be a big mountain in my way. 14's more than enough. I'll do more tomorrow. One of my buddies, Coy, hit me up on Messenger this morning. He's only a couple of days ahead of me and he's nursing some shin splints. So I should catch him in no time. Real cool cat, I haven't actually walked with him since the Smokies. But he's one of the few people in the woods that's scarier than I am, so... Yeah, we should totally hang out. We're never gonna get a ride into town. I mean, I've seen him plenty of times since then, always in a gap, you know, just running to him in towns. But I haven't actually hiked since the Smokies. So, see if I can catch him. That dude was quite knowledgeable on mushrooms and such. I'm willing to bet he has other stuff in that he can share. I always like learning, you know? I'm still out here for another six-ish weeks or so. So, I got time to play around. Holy crap, I went to go scratch my arm for an itch and this little thing popped and there's blood all over my finger now. That thing was just drinking me. Oh my god, like walking isn't good enough anymore. I gotta walk faster. Oh no, these mosquitoes are faster than the other ones. That thing was drinking the hell out of me. I feel violated. The trail is being really kind today. I was expecting slop and mud, but oh man, she looks really nice. I mean, a puddle here and there, the only complaint I would have is mosquitoes, but I have bathed in DEET to where my lips are numb right now. DEET 100, yeah, good stuff. It does keep them at bay, but, yeah, you know, I'm going to die a little younger. Oh, no. I figure I smoke cigars. That's way worse in the, in the long run. Whew. If it doesn't rain today, which I don't know the forecast, I forgot to check before I left, today is going to be a gorgeous day. Oh, man, look at that sky right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. This happens to be one of them cut out for the power cables. Sometimes that's our only view. But I hear views are coming up. Oh, oh, oh. And tomorrow is, what, Greylock Mountain. So it's, it has a little fire tower, a little symbol in the book. Don't know if it's climbable, but I've recently seen pictures on Instagram of the top of a tower. So I'm going to assume it's that one. Hoping it is, because that dude's just a couple of days ahead of me. So yeah, wake up early as per usual, haul my ass up Great Lock Mountain and watch me a sunrise. I hope, you know, yeah, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Found a nice soft spot on the ground, decided to filter some water, take a nice rest, do a little zen thing. Forest is so quiet again today. The only sound was a caterpillar dropping from the tree with a nice thud. Sitting here trying to live in the now. Thoughts of the other world keep creeping in. What am I going to do after this? Do I go hike the PCT? Well, if I want to do that, then I'd have to go get a job and save up. Where am I going to stay? What state am I going to go to? I don't know. I'm hoping life presents me with opportunities, but that still keeps just creeping into my mind. There's nothing I can do about it right now. What kind of plans can I make from out here? 
<laughs> so if any of you uh, want a crawler sleeping on your couch for the next few weeks, uh, you know, hit me up on one of them uh, messenger thingies. Plenty of social medias out there. You got my name. Of course, send head and body shots if you're cool nudes. You know, it'll put you at the top of my list. But no, don't know what I'm doing after this, man. And that thought keeps creeping into my head. Still got six weeks or so out here. I don't even need to think about that stuff yet, but six weeks doesn't feel so long. Time flies. But yet moves weird on the trail. Six weeks could feel like a lifetime out here. I'm gonna try to eke everything I can out of this. Everything. There's more experiences to be had. Stop thinking about the other world. <sighs> Uh-oh. I think my socks are getting wet here. Look at all this foam. Gross. There's a big old pile of foam right there. Disgusting. And now if I can walk across this slick ass log, my shoes won't get wet. That's too big of a jump for me because it's all roots on the other side. I'll break a freaking ankle. I don't want to get my socks wet though. All right, we're gonna figure something out. Slippery log was the way to go. My socks are still dry. Dun, 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 dun. On to the next challenge. Oh, they're trying to get my socks today. Those rocks look slippery. They're not very far apart, but they're angular. And the water's all red again. Blah. I'd like to pretend that's a high iron content, but I don't know. No, no, red water doesn't seem that good. We have the town of Cheshire before us. Hopefully there's something to eat in there. Here there's one restaurant, but more importantly, off in the background, I'm gonna be headed up here, but here's where I'm gonna be for my sunrise. I can see a fire tower from here. So hopefully I can get all the way to the top of it. I'll only be like five miles from the campsite, so I can do that in the dark. The sun's coming up a little later every day. Let's go see if we can find a burger. I think I see a bear. Staring at me. He looks friendly enough. Why is it like to live right on the AT like that? How cool. Lucky dogs. Doing a nice little road walk through Cheshire. Nice little town, all quiet. Everybody's got money, you can tell. I mean, they're not rich, but they all have nice cars. Houses are all well taken care of. I don't mind doing a little road walking. Rocks and roots are kind of tearing my feet up. Not bad, not bad, just sore. I'm a sissy, I can admit it. You know, I'll have to find some sort of food. Even a convenience store would do at this point. You know, a nice cup of coffee. and Some sort of Danish would be pretty sweet right now. I'd take a cheese Danish. Yes, that is what I'm in the mood for. Let's see if we can find one. The AT just tricked me into going into somebody's yard. I mean, there's definitely a path here. You, you can see it. It is very path-like. The blazes over there told me to take a sharp left. And I'm, the reason why there's a path is I'm not the only one who's fallen for this. It goes about, you know, 10, 15 yards that way and then comes to an abrupt halt. But these blazes here told me to take a sharp left. And that looks like the kind of place I would go, right, right there. I mean, very pathish. That is what led me astray. So I'm guessing it means all the way down at the intersection, take a left. But, you know, why would you put it all the way back here if you meant left? And I know I'm not the only person who's falling for that. That is a very well-beaten path to nowhere. Okay, whoever marks those signs, you failed. Sorry, not my fault, it's yours. Lack of training, I understand. And I don't even see a blaze up here. Okay, I see one on the back of that pole. That tells me that, you know, coming this way, they know to go straight. But I'm at an intersection. Am I going left? Am I going right? I don't know. I'm feeling left. There's a green blaze. What the hell's a green blaze mean? It's not a reflector, it's definitely green paint. Blaze shape, blaze height. Okay, I'm going left anyway. So I see nothing to the right that says trail. And that last place kind of told me to go left, even though it told me the wrong spot. But yeah, check it out. 
Green blaze. All right, what the hell does that mean? There's another green blaze up there. Almost like somebody spray painted them out. Okay, they're like, these are no longer blazes. I see another blaze over there going, tell me to go left. Okay. I think I'm figuring this stuff out. I found this little jewel behind me that happens to have ice cream. Ooh, strawberry cheesecake and overstuffed sandwiches. I'm not sure what an overstuffed sandwich is, but that's what I ordered. So I'm just gonna sit here, nice picnic to benches, relax, take my shoes off, maybe offend some people around me. Ah, oh, it just feels good to sit down. Oh, I like sitting. Ah, today is like a perfect day. It is so nice out right now. It's gotta be like maybe 70 degrees, barely warm enough to sweat. The train has been pretty kind. I uh, can't complain. I only got a few more miles to go to where I'm ending up tonight. So even if I walk a mile an hour, I'll be there well before the sun goes down. Life is good. So Cheshire is a nice little town to walk through. Everybody waves at you. American flags all over the place. America. And I have a sandwich shop right on the corner. Totally, you know, that sealed the deal. That was pretty sweet. I needed that. Got all my vegetables and whatnot in there, you know. I'm, I'm all healthy again. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot of vegetables on the trail. No, so, <laughs> happy to get them in whatever. So, a nice easy, what, five miles to the shelter. Crash out. Well, I guess relax for a while, because even if I walk slow, I'm going to be there soon. Huh. Maybe I'll run into a Sobo who'll know more about it, but I'm hoping maybe there's some campsites a little bit beyond so that I have less time, less distance to walk in the morning. Because, you know, getting out by 4 o'clock gives me two hours before sunrise, five miles in two hours. It's not impossible, but I don't know what the train's going to be like, and obviously it's going to be up a mountain. So I'm probably going to need to leave earlier than normal. Unless, of course, a Sobo tells me about a cool campsite. So... I'll keep my fingers crossed for that, but if not, I'm just waking up super early. It's not often I get a fire tower, so I'm going to take advantage of it. It's great walking through people's backyards again, but evidently this is the trail. I'm following it. <laughs> right in people's yards. There's a guy doing yard work right there. It is man in his natural habitat doing honeydews. Oh, a cornfield. Wonder if any of this corn's ready yet. I'm still not seeing any ears. But I don't know. I'm going to go. I got to walk right through it. So if there's an ear to be had, I'm taking it. I mean, borrowing it because I would never steal from this farmer. Oh, I'm going to straight rip him off. I'm going to have ears of corn everywhere. Up into these mountains I go next. And right over this one, for a while back there, I was able to see the fire tower pretty clearly. It looks like a more of a solid structure than I'm used to climbing. Maybe even made of stone, but I'm not sure from this distance. But it can't be more than like two miles away as the crow flies. But as I walk, I think it's eight miles from where I'm standing. Ah, uh, the physics of the AT. They're a little wonky at best. I just talked with a Sobo and he told me that Mount Greylock, where I want to be for the sunrise, has both a fire tower, he says that is more of an old war monument, and a place next to it that serves breakfast. What? Yeah, and he also said there's some campsites on my way there. So I'm gonna stop by the shelter, see what it looks like. If it has really nice campsites, I'll stay there. But if not, uh, if they're mediocre or crappy, then I'll just move on to the other ones. But either way, I'm gonna be there for sunrise. And it will be good. Tonight I am hanging with America's youth. Cringe America. Cringe.